Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Cory and today I'm going to be doing a follow-up on my Shea Moisture hair journey. A little over four weeks ago, maybe five weeks ago now, I opened up and cracked into my Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Shampoo, Conditioner, Styling Gel, and Styling Milk and I have some thoughts and opinions to give to you. I feel like today I'm having a really great hair day and this is pretty conducive to what I've been experiencing while using this hairline product. Especially if you compare it to when I opened up the products, you can see my hair looks a lot different even though I was styling it pretty much the same. In terms of my hair routine this past month or so, I have been using the shampoo and conditioner in the shower and then when I get out of the shower, I apply the curling gel souffle, get it in my hair, plop my hair overnight with just a t-shirt, and then in the morning, or when my hair is dry enough that I need to get going, I use the curl and style milk. I feel like my hair is really nice and silky and that it really holds a good texture. I feel like the gel is nice because it's like a stiff hold. Um, it doesn't get flaky or anything, and there's still movement if you don't completely break it up, which I struggled with the Diva Curl stuff. I feel like I have a good amount of definition, but also like smoothness. I'm not afraid to like run my hands through my hair to some extent, um, and still have uh, nice curls at the end of the day. They really do look nice and shiny, and they're definitely a lot more curly than when I was styling it the same way with the Wave Kit. So the performance is really, really, really great, but I do have a couple issues with the products themselves. So first of all, the shampoo is like super runny. So I end up using two big handfuls, like almost overflowing handfuls, and then I put that through my hair. I really do like the shampoo. It smells really nice, and it's the runniest shampoo I've ever used in my life. It's very strange. If you shampoo twice, you'll get a really nice lather, which I really love. So overall, I really like this, and it smells great too. The conditioner, it's great that it comes with a pump. I'm not too sure why the shampoo doesn't come with a pump. And the conditioner is also really milky. It's more milky than the styling milk. I'm not sure why they call it a conditioner and not a conditioning milk or something. The problem is I use a lot of it, like a lot, a lot. It's not a super like coating conditioner. It's not gonna like wrap around your hair and everything. It's really gonna detangle it, and I guess there's probably oils in it that like help moisturize your hair. My problem is I use like 10 to 15 pumps of this. So even though it's more economical when compared to the Diva Curl stuff, I use way, way, way more. I feel like it's fairly standard when you've got curly hair and you're like flipping your hair over in the shower and like scrunching the conditioner into it, you might lose a little bit. So I find using five pumps at a time and then like isolating into the areas that I need really helped me not waste too much conditioner. But at the same time, I felt like I was putting a lot of conditioner in to get it coated over all my hair. And to be fair, I do have a lot of hair. I just, I thought that was a lot of conditioner. Um, I tried using less and I wasn't as happy with the results. So yeah, I if I'm gonna use this and I do love using it, I'm gonna use a shit ton of it. The smell and the tingle feel that you get from this conditioner is flipping amazing. So I really liked that, but I don't know if it's very cost effective when you go through so much each time you use it. I will say I definitely feel like my hair doesn't get as oily as quickly as with the Diva Curl and that I didn't feel like I need to use any sulfates in my styling process. Like so with the Diva Curl, every so often I would be like, I need to get degreased. I need to use <laughs> some sulfate shampoo um, just to like clean everything up. But I feel like the shampoo and conditioner do a great job on their own and I only shampoo condition maybe like twice a week. All right, so onto the styling products, the gel souffle. At first, I really, really hated this gel souffle. Um, but I think I've learned to really love it and really appreciate how to use it. So at first I was really confused by the consistency of the product because it seems to be very like, it sticks together and it doesn't stick to anything else. So when I was first using it, I would pick up a blob, 
started scrunching it through my hair and it would all come off onto my plopping towel. So I was very confused. But I think the key to using this is to really warm it up in your hands a little while before you actually start plopping it into your hair. So I grab a fairly large dollop and then I just spend some time like scrunching it between my hands, warming it up, kind of getting it from a jelly consistency to more of a liquid consistency. And then I go through and I like scrunch my hair basically and I try to get it coated fairly evenly. And I think that this is the major reason why my hair like curls look so defined and so beautiful. And I think I really, really, really love this stuff. It's a really huge tub, so I don't think I'm going through it super fast, even though I'm using a copious amount of product each time. So I think this is a really great find for me and it might be HJ status even. Um, a really great find. When I originally bought it, I thought it was a different um, gel souffle product. So if I can find that on my Sally, I might try the other one. But this one's definitely got a place in my heart and I didn't like it at first, but um, I've come to find that I really depend on it to get beautiful curls. And to be able to plop overnight is like such a treat. It's just so low maintenance and um, not fussy. So I'm really, really enjoying that. And yeah, I blame the curling gel souffle for giving me that option. And last of all, the coconut hibiscus curl and style milk. Now I have one major issue with this product and that is it's so thick. It's not a milk at all. It's more like a conditioner and it's so hard to get any product out of the container. Like I have to squeeze it in the morning and I hate squeezing it so hard. Um, the product itself is nice. I use it once my hair is pretty much completely dry just to like smooth everything down and add some shine. But packaging wise, it freaking sucks. I don't know. And I don't think they should call it a milk. I think they should call it like a leave-in conditioner or a leave-in styler or leave-in cream even because it's not milky at all. It's really thick and strange. So this is probably my least favorite product just because of the packaging. I could just transfer it to a different package. This would be one that I feel like would be awesome if it came with a pump. So maybe I'll look into switching it out into a pump head. In terms of performance, I think it does work really well. Like I have really thick and like frizzy hair if I don't kind of tame it. So I think it does a really great job of kind of waterproofing your hair, if that makes sense. And um, adding and adding a nice shine and kind of de-poofing all the poofy things. So I don't think I hate it as much as I think I hate it. It's just really annoying to use in the morning and I wish I had a pump or you could just scoop into it to pick it up, but yeah. It's definitely good for thick curly hair. How is my overall experience with these products? It's really good. I use a ton more of the shampoo and conditioner than I would like to, just because I feel like even though it's um, I bought all four products for what, like $70, $75? I'm going to have to check my previous video to um, see exactly how much I paid for all four of them. And it's been about four weeks. I have about like a third of both of these products left. Um, the styling milks, like, I only use a tiny little bit every time, mostly on my ends or frizzy bits. And this thing is like maybe not even a third used. And the gel souffle, again, I'd say maybe a, a third used to a half used. So I feel like there's a lot of value that you get out of the gel and souffle, but I feel like I go through the shampoo and conditioner enough to like bump it up back to Diva Curl prices because you pay about the same, but you get more product. But if you use more product per session, you know what I'm saying? That being said, I think I definitely prefer all four of these products to anything from the Deva Curl products that I've tried so far. I really love it. I think my hair looks and feels very healthy and it's probably the lowest maintenance that it's ever been after I figured out how to use the curling gel souffle. 
So overall, I'm going to give this really high marks and I really would recommend that you try it out. That being said, I'm not 100% convinced it's any cheaper than the really expensive Diva Curl stuff. And I'd say the biggest complaint I hear about the Diva Curl stuff is just how expensive it is. So maybe when I find my perfect routine, I can sub out the curl, the shampoo and conditioner for something more economical and just keep buying the styling products, which maybe make the biggest difference to my hair. But as you can see, very happy, very healthy, and I'm gonna give this stuff a four out of five. Maybe a three and a half out of five if I was being really picky about the packaging on some of them. But okay, I love the result enough that I would like deal with that. So I'm gonna give it a four out of five, knocking one point off for just the amount of product that I have to use while washing and conditioning my hair. If you guys aren't familiar with my plopping techniques, definitely check out my video up here so you can see how that's done. And if you wanna see me try out some of the Diva Curl kits, I have a playlist up here as well. I really feel like I'm starting to figure out this curly hair journey progressing. I'm gonna put a very before picture in here and a very after picture in here, just so you can see how far I've come. I uh, have given myself a couple like trims at home, which I know is a bit of a no-no, but when you have really super long hair, I think it's kind of one of those things that you just end up doing sometimes, <laughs> just because it can be pretty risky to end up at the salon and getting too much cut off. Anyway guys, thank you so much for being patient and coming along with me on my curly hair journey. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure you give me a thumbs up, subscribe down below if you'd like to see more hair and beauty content from me. If you wanna help support my channel, of course, give this video a like, subscribe down below, share these videos with anybody who you think might be interested in trying out the Shea Moisture line or in just in checking out my videos in general. You can also check me out over on Patreon. Anyway guys, thanks again for joining me here today and I'll see you all tomorrow in my next beauty video. Bye.